Joe keeps getting worse and worse. It's, it's not terrible, but still not good. There's literally a line in the final episode where, um, Miss Martian says, Get away from my man. And it was delivered so terribly. And it's an animated show. I get voice acting is still hard. Some people think it's harder than actual acting. I don't have a re really opinion on it, but that line was delivered terribly. And it was cringy. And then they have a video game-like sequence when they take down Zod. Where Superman and Superboy punch him and they deliver a cringy line. And there was at least three cringy lines in just the final episode. Superman, Superboy is ready for his wedding and they're like oh hey you clean up good because he got a haircut and he's like yeah i clean up good for a dead guy wow i'm laughing my ass off no i'm not and then um they don't do shit with the thing they did last season aquaman and aqualad dating there's a few scenes here and there but they really don't do shit with it I wish they would have, but they don't. That one girl from the last season that I can't really remember the name of ends up dating Harper from the comics, who is um, an apprentice of Batman. I don't really know much about her, but I've seen a few comics with her in it. I think her name is Bluebird or something like that in the comics. And her and Harper date in the last episode. Though it's literally just them holding hands for two seconds of screen time. Icicle Jr. gets to appear at the wedding, which I thought was kind of cool. Then, um... They literally don't do two of the things that they set up during this fucking season. The prince guy from last season, who kind of turned evil. We find out that one of the guys that works for him is a mind controller and they literally don't do anything with it. The season is over. There is no end credit scene. They don't talk about it. It's just, I think they literally forgot about it. And Beast Boy's depression is just thrown aside now that Connor's alive. We don't get a heartwarming moment. We don't get them to talk about it. We don't see how Beast Boy's better. He's just fucking better now. And they did try and do shit with Beast Boy's depression for like three episodes. And then they were like, nah, we're done with that. And then Cyborg isn't in this season for some reason, even though he was in the previous season. This, sh Unlike the last three seasons, I didn't just watch this in a few days. I watched this in months because this is a brand new season. So, honestly, I don't remember if they mention why Cyborg has his absence gone. It's clearly not beef with the actor, because the exact same voice actor is in this show and voices Robot Man in a later episode during Beast Boy's intervention. So, where is Cyborg? Did they just forget about him? Because I don't remember if they didn't why his absence is, you know. Then Zatanna, I thought it was stupid. Not exactly about her, because she's one of my favorite heroes. But during the boom tube, she's able to use her powers. But not when she's in the boob tube. They show that in the Phantom Zone, you can't use your super strength, you can't use your powers, etc, etc. You don't have the advantage, it's just pure brute strength and hope you win. Well, not pure brute strength since you don't have powers or whatever in there, but you get what I mean. You can only, like, punch and kick and shit and hope you win. But while she's actually in it, she uses her magic. Quite a few times. Though later, when they go in the boob tomb while trying to keep them from getting out of the phantom zone, she's still able to use her powers. And that is where they're supposed to be able to use her powers. But for some reason, she's able to use it when she's in the Phantom Zone. I thought that was very dumb. And then they showed Supergirl at the end of the season during the end credits. And then, yeah, this chick, um, Zod's wife. 
she's pregnant at the end of the season. I don't get when they had the time to have sex. When they were trying to take over the world and heal and get their powers ready. I, I don't get it. But yeah, she has a child now near the end of the season. Woohoo. But yeah, this season just sucked. I really didn't like it. But yeah, that's about it.